perhaps the most natural of extensions from the second topic is the third topic, radical equations. So this is what's going to happen if you have equations like this. So in this case, we're going to be looking for solutions to this equation. We will have the equal sign, which means we will be able to solve for x. To solve for this one, you square both sides. You bring the 5 across to the other side. And this would tell us that x is going to be the cube root of 14. It all seems well and good, except we are going to have what we call extraneous solutions. So we're going to have some numbers that don't quite work out. So, for example, say we have almost the same thing here, but instead of having a minus 5 at the end, we have, say, plus 30. Now, you know what? Let's change that 30. Well, we'll leave it at 30. We take these, we square both sides. We have 9 equals x cubed plus 30. We bring this 30 to the other side. We get a negative 21 equals x cubed. All right, x equals the cube root of negative 21. Now, this is less than 30. So this expression is going to have a solution. But we can run into cases where we'll run through the solutions. So we have x equals negative 15. And then we go and put that back in the original. And now we're taking the square root of negative 20. Because squaring things eliminates a sign. So what we're looking at is a case where things wouldn't have been true back here with a nine, <coughs> excuse me, with a three or a nine, it would have been a negative three in this step. But squaring it lost that information. So that is going to be the biggest trick and the biggest complication to watch for. We're going to have to keep an eye out for the extraneous roots.